My name is Greg Bahu. I am a junior here at James Madison University. I'm currently studying public policy and administration with a public management concentration, and I am running for student body president. I'm Mackenzie Quinn. I'm a junior biology major, and I'm running for student body president. I'm Taylor Volman. I'm a junior SMAD major, running for student body president. As you already know, JMU is a great university. Um, I don't need to sound like a broken record to, uh, you know, um, all the students here know it. Uh, I've never heard a negative thing about JMU, um, from alumni to parents. Um, there's nothing bad about this university. And what I want to do, I want to make it even better than what it is. Um, I've been involved with SGA since my first year, first semester. And student government is something I've always been passionate about throughout high school and college. And I really believe it makes a difference on campus, and I wanted to be a part of that legacy here at JMU. Student Council was that thing for me in high school where I really found my click and really found how I could serve the other students. So when I came here, that was the one thing I knew I wanted to do. I wanted to join the student government. And it's vastly different from the way high school works, but it was still that organization that made a difference on campus that I thought I could really find my groove with. I have great communication skills and I have a wide range of um, contacts on campus which would allow, allow me to get the things I want to get done and the things that the student body uh, feel that they, the issues that they're having. I, I feel like I could use those contacts and that support to help me. I bring a lot of enthusiasm as well as logic. I know when to push for a project and when to look back and say, you know, maybe this isn't the best course of action for us. And mostly I just want to empower the members to be their own leader. I have been in every aspect of this organization. I've gone to most of the committee meetings. I have, I lead my own committee. I really see the importance of fostering the development of our students and our members who are there. I have experience in gaining feedback through the various endeavors. Um, we've had Student Engagement Week and JMU Speak, and we've had SGA Month this year. So I've kind of seen the way that everything works, and I've really seen the ups and the downs. I continue to see a problem with the ICS buses. Um, even myself, it sometimes takes me a few, a few buses until uh, I even get on one, delaying me for my events, my classes. You know, our, our bus system is good, but we just need a few more buses and even maybe even a schedule change that would help uh, 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 range the students from bus to bus. I want to see a better communication between students and student government because we do have connections and we do have the means to make a difference on campus. And I'd also love to see more of an academic culture here at JMU. Not that we don't have one, but I'd like to see our level of discourse elevated. To really change how we impact campus and have more specific goals, I'd rather reach out to more specific subsections. I have no frame of reference of a student athlete or what it's like to be a member of the LGBT community or a minority student or a transfer student or a unique student from any other perspective other than my own and so I really want to reach out to those groups and have more specific conversations. I'm a volunteer firefighter um, as you know with my size uh, not many people would um, I guess assume that or, or even guess that I'm a volunteer firefighter but um, I do volunteer downtown um, and back home. I'm really into science um, <laughs> I'm really into science and research and I geek out all the time. I'm probably reading more academic research papers than I am reading for class. I lived in Japan for four years. I'm an Air Force brat, um, so I've kind of moved around. I went from Japan to North Dakota, so definitely a culture shock. Um, and then North Dakota to Virginia, which is where my parents retired. And being a military brat, I became really patriotic, kind of comes with the deal.